Hi, so I've got a little verse kind of devotional thing um, just to share with you. It's a verse for at a moment, like just really speaking to me and absolutely love. It's Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19 and it says, But forget all that, it's nothing compared to what I'm going to do. For I'm about to do something new. See, I've already begun, do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness, I'll create rivers in the dry wasteland. <clears throat> and I just, there's so much in this verse I love. Um, the beginning bit is when he's talking about forgetting the former things. And recently, I don't know anyone else has ever done this, but I've got a new iCloud account and a new phone. So I've been trying to set up that new account and I've spent quite a bit of time trying to get all my photos from my old one onto my new one. And going through that, it kind of does make you think about, you know, when you're looking through old photos, kind of, oh, remember this, do you remember that? And then also things where you're like, actually, how much of this am I just holding on to because it's there? And actually, do I just need to let go? I'm not going to want this photo in like a year's time or two years time. Um, and yeah, and some of it as well. I love it because God's like, actually, even if those things in the past are amazing, he's saying it's nothing compared to what he's going to do. And I think that's just so cool because even if you've had like an amazing like past year or past month or whatever, God's like, what I've got coming up for you is even better than that. And then also, if you haven't, if stuff's not quite gone right or there's things like, I know when things haven't quite gone to plan, I keep going over it in my head going, oh, I wish I'd done this differently or maybe if I'd done that, it would work out differently. Um, but yeah, the message version, it literally says, forgets what's happened. Don't keep going over old history and um, be alert and be present. And I just found that was a real challenge, actually, just to be really present and just actually know it's gone, it's done, just leave it. Um, and kind of as you move on, it carries on and it says, for I'm about to do something new. And in this next verse, I love it. He says, see, I have already begun. And so it's not that he's about to do something new. He's already begun doing it. Um, and he's saying like, he's going to make pathways through the wilderness. He's going to create rivers in the dry wasteland. So it's not even that he's, you know, just begun it. And it's little things. It's like actually the situations that maybe in like your life and my life right now seem impossible. And the natural would be impossible, like making a, what is it, a river in a dry wasteland, like in the desert. Because like I'm beginning to do it, it can happen. So it just really gives me that faith to go, actually, you know what? I can believe for that impossible. God can do it. And just to enjoy like what's right in front of me right now. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my thought and just, yeah, just enjoy what's in front of you. God is able and is doing the impossible. And yeah, just a real encouragement.